let's factor the following expression completely. So I know since my last term is negative and my middle term is positive that my so I know I'm going to have a negative and a positive term. So my I'm going to have a 2z. And it looks like it's going to be I have a positive 5 out here. Now this isn't factorable by conventional means. I'm going to have to use a quadratic formula. So what we'll have here is we'll have the opposite of b, so negative 13 plus or minus the square root of b squared, so 169, 13 squared minus 4 times 2 times c, which is negative 5, all over 2a. It's 2 times 2. So we'll have negative 13 plus or minus the square root of so that's 169 plus 40. So 209 over 4. So that's not that great. So it's going to be an x, an x minus a negative 13. Well, basically, okay, so x, well, doesn't solve this problem. But that's it.